Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading. Today is Tuesday and today I'm reading for Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. And this reading here is for Leo. Welcome Leo. The Moon and Stars Tarot card for you is the Five of Wands. It's about conflict, opinions and some trauma. And the meaning of the card is chaos. There are many strong opinions around you at this time. You may be struggling to be heard or equally giving negative energy to a situation. Something must give to settle the differences. Communication is key. There may be conflicts within relationships at home or at work as things are out of balance. So try to see both sides and weed out some untruths and find out the facts. Know that your time to speak is coming and you are holding your position for a greater good. There is a moon message. Be transparent and true and keep away from any trauma. The mythic goddess tarot that came out is the two of swords relating to uncertainty, pathways and stalemate. The meaning is difficult choices. The Two of Swords symbolizes the times when we are forced to make a choice and it is not an easy one. Neither option seems ideal, but unless we move past this stalemate, there can be no more progress. Whether it's in work or love or friendship, you know something has to change, but you are caught between a rock and a hard place. It may be that someone else is involved, which complicates matters. You cannot stick your head in the sand. However, prolonging the agony will not help. Be honest. You know what to do, so take action, then you can move forward to live and love in a better way. The tarot of the divine card that came out is the king of coins. And here in this deck, the card relates to North America. It is an Iroquois, Iroquois mythology called Nanuna, the world turtle. The king of coins represents stability and faithfulness. The world turtle is strong enough to support the weight of others' hopes and dreams. He may not be an active participant in their lives, but he is always dependable, slow and steady. And here the card shows the world and the turtle as one. The card is about success, dependability, conservatism, strong will and a willing to work things out. The Shaman's Dream Oracle card is called Veil Song. It's about remembering, harmonizing and resonating. There are moments in life when you have a sense of déjà vu, that you have visited this place before, you had these feelings before or you met this person before. And you know that a new opportunity to dance has come round again. Yet there is a haunting quality to this. A melancholy as life's mysteries, fragility is also underlined. 
like a real song that pleads for its simple notes to be matched by another, you have a short time to capture this essence and let it resonate in a way that is potentially transformative, but only if you do not turn away. Sometimes you may forgot, forget the moments of your humanity, your truest desires, because you have become so earthbound and calculating, striving and doing. You are so overstimulated by the chase and what you are exposed to that you forget your heart. Now it is time to jump in the water and play and be reminded of your creative self, your collaborative impulse to sing along, seeking harmony, beauty, purpose and meaning. At this moment, that is your exact invitation. You will achieve more than the plans you set in motion if you use this opportunity to explore, be curious and take a much needed break from what your mind thinks it needs to accomplish. Your heart is calling, so answer it. And the lovely animal's oracle card that came out is the donkey. It's about control, determination and responsibility. The general message is to remain humble in your decisions and your choices and do not let your ego take control. Instead, listen to your intuition and follow your path with determination to protect everyone around you. This is how you get what you need on this journey. The strength is protection and perseverance in all your tasks. Your opportunities are that they lie in your success, which is important and responsible projects. The weaknesses are avoid letting the ego be stronger than your intuition and there is a danger letting others take advantage of you because you are too good natured. So do not allow this, Leo, okay? So that was the reading for the Leos. Thank you very much for listening, Leo. I wish you a most wonderful day. I wish you a joyous whole week. Take care and goodbye.